All right, guys, I'm gonna shoot a quick video on how I'm insulating my shop building. So what I have here is a 30 by 50 pole barn. Um, we bought it, it didn't have a concrete floor. We got that put in. Uh, we run a small manufacturing operation in here. This is Sunday, everyone's home. I'm still framing in our office and uh, bathroom over here. So, um, when everyone leaves in the evenings or for the weekend, because we've got about a eight person crew that works in here. Uh, when everyone's gone, that's whenever I start upgrading the building. So hopefully today's the last day we work in the heat here. So we've got, I'll show you a, an unfinished wall. We've got irregular spacing between these boards here. They range from 26 to 16 inches. Um, I was originally thinking about sheeting over the top, like I've seen a lot of people do, just put the sheeting or the insulation across here. I priced spray foam was gonna be 4,500. And um, I wanted to do it without em emptying the shop. So, what I ended up deciding to do is use an inch and a half foam board in between. This is the first section I did and I did it backward from how the rest is done. Because this foil, I believe, radiates heat out. So you can see I've got the foil out on the first layer that fits in between the studs. And then the foil's painted, pointed in on the second layer. So we should be, uh, whether it's winter or summer, we should be radiating heat. Um, so what I've done is on the first layer, I've cut it tight. So those are, are forced in, eliminating the majority of the air gaps. And then I've slid them behind these beams. This is a continuous piece that runs halfway down this wall. So that means that none of our seams line up with each other. That's solid behind this. And they're all tight fit. So I actually don't even think taping the seams is going to be necessary. So we're cutting these to, to the point they're tight and putting them in. If there's a little bit of a gap in a certain place, I'll put tape on it. Then when you go, when we put up the second layer, I'm putting an adhesive down and then just a little bit of tape at the top and maybe a box at the bottom to hold it tight against there till the glue dries. Um, one layer of this inch and a half is $15 to $18 for a four by eight sheet, depending on where you buy it. A 30 by 50 shop. I'm going to get the entire shop done for around $1,700 and do it in two days. So on Friday, we did a little bit of a test. I, I did that area there and then framed around it. I didn't spend very much time on insulation and we started on this wall. And then yesterday I did the rest of this wall. I'm getting everything to the eight foot high mark so that if I don't finish to the ceiling with the second layer by tomorrow, my crew can still work in here and we can go ahead and have the air conditioning on and then I can come back in it and do the top part there. So to the top of these, to the top of the wall, if you go in between there is 12 feet. So you've got an eight foot and a four foot on the side. You just notch around the, the wood up here. 
And then, as you can see up at the top, that's gonna leave about an eight inch area there that I'll have to come back through and fill in. I'll probably put spray foam in the ridges of the of the metal on the outside of the building to keep air from getting in there. And then I think I'll have a little bit of foam left and what I have left I'm going to start because on top of these ceiling on top of the ceiling under the tin there's an inch and a half foam already then I'm going to leave that inch and a half gap and then sheet on top. So we'll have an inch and a half of foam, the inch and a half gap for the wood, and then another inch and a half layer. Real quick, I'm not going to do an installation demonstration, but I watched a video on installing this same product, and the guy made it look really hard, honestly. We did some um, with the table saw, which works fine. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate this one-handed, but I just make a line, run a knife down it, snap it, and then cut along the back side. And that's doing that. 90% of all of our joints have been a tight fit. And I'm really happy with it. So for about $1,700, and two days work, I'm going to insulate this 30 by 50 building. And I'm pretty happy with the decision I made to go with this. Um, price comp for the R value, I think it's gonna be really good because um, you're getting between a 12 and a 16 R value out of these two layers. Uh, and I just think you're not gonna get that R value for that price any other way that I could find. So, thanks for watching.